think, oh, we'll do the call to prayer. And so Muslim men, they, you'll, you'll naturally like come up to the front because it's just like what you do, right? This is the prayer now for the court of Adhan. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah. Ashhadu anna Muhammadan Rasulullah. Hayya ala salat, hayya ala al-falah. Allahu Akbar, la ilaha illallah. Hi, so welcome back. Thank you so much for clicking. Hope you guys are doing great. My name is Bukumi Bikki Kran. So this is the I introduce you to non-Muslims on how to pray for Muslims. So let's watch. You know, a lecturer in America introduced how to pray to hundreds of students. Mm -hmm. How do you think they reacted? See this video clip until it's finished, so as not to misunderstand it. Okay. A unique scene occurred at one of the leading universities in the United States, namely at Penn State University where there was a lecturer named Dr. Sam Richards telling his experience of visiting a mosque in Turkey and felt how extraordinary it was to pray for the first time as a non-Muslim. A few years back I was in Istanbul and this is the Blue Mosque in Istanbul and I stayed in a hotel right across from the Blue Mosque and you know imagine the call of prayer coming from the Blue Mosque. Yes, yes. I, I'm just constantly being drawn outside. It's the most beautiful, it's one of really the most beautiful structures I've ever seen. So this is what it's like when the mosque, when it's full on the inside. It's a massive structure, beautiful structure and see how people are lined up in this way. Wow. Okay? It's so, beautiful so I, color go to the next day. slide. When I went into the to the mosque in the middle of the day, I just, I took my shoes off and I went out into the and walked around mm. to look at it and at some point in time I was drawn to sit down in a meditative posture and I sat down against one of the pillars really going into this beautiful space and not knowing because I sort of lost pulled myself out of my mind a little not realizing that people were starting to line up mm. so you think back to that other that other uh photo of people lining up right wow. and and so as I'm sitting there I suddenly open I feel something and I open my eyes and there's a couple guys calling me up because you got to fill in the spaces so what happened was I realized oh shit I'm about to pray Yay. for the first time in a mosque wow and then it was like oh cool this is gonna be really cool because I'm called up now I gotta stand up and, I, and, they, and no one knows I'm not Muslim, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm like, okay, here we go. And I'm just standing and I just am looking out, like I'm, trying not, I'm trying to be unobtrusive. And what happened then was that, to facilitate his explanation of how Muslims pray, Richards then called several of his students to model the correct prayer movements. And this incident was witnessed by hundreds of other students. So, but here's what I want to do. I want to, are there, are there, I need a couple Muslim, a couple more Muslim men who could come up and do, who, who we could do the prayer with, Basim. So listen. Let's hear the sound for the calling for prayer. Oh yeah, okay. So, hang, oh, we'll do the call to prayer. And so Muslim men, they, you'll, you'll naturally like come up to the front because it's just like what you do, right? What's he saying? I swear there is only God, one God, and there is no other God. Which is the Christian God, and the Jewish God, by the way. Remember, there's only one. It's the same one. Who do we have? Seriously, bro. You, you, it's got to be you, man. Come on, dog. Who else? And now, I need, I need someone, I need a Christian. I need someone who's a Christian, a man who's a Christian. We'll just do a Christian. No, who's Jewish? Better yet, I need a Jewish man. Who do I have? I need you. Jewish man. Dude, come down, man. Okay, so here's the deal. So listen, what I want you to do, bro, is you're gonna be me, okay? And you have, oh, you, this, with this room is filled up with Muslims and you gotta do what they do and you can't let them know you don't know what the hell's going on, all right? <laughs> okay, you have no idea. You can't give yourself away. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah. Ashhadu anna Muhammadan Rasulullah. Hayya ala salat, hayya ala al-falah. Qad qamat al-salat, qad qamat al-salat. Allahu Akbar, la ilaha illallah. 
Allahu Akbar means God is great. Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah means it means I swear there is only God, the only one I follow Him. Ashhadu anna Muhammad and Rasulullah. I testify that Muhammad is his prophet. Hayya ala salah, come to prayer. Qad qamat salah, it means time for prayer. And then la ilaha illallah. I swear there is only God, one God. Go ahead. Dude, nice. nice. <laughs> you killed it. Yeah. The only thing you didn't do, you wait, you didn't you had your nose on the ground, not your yeah. forehead. Which is okay, right? But it did amazing. You were only a little bit behind him and you were far enough behind him that the, you, you and also you didn't do you didn't bring your hands up. Like you you guys didn't do this with your ears. Uh Sam, there's many different yeah. ways of praying. Okay. In Take Islam we have five prayers. This one, the way they did it, it's like two, twice they go uh, up and down. In the morning it's two. Midday it's four. They have to repeat it four times. In the afternoon it's four. At sunset it's three. And later in the evening it's four. So all together five times. Hmm. Three, four, four. Prayer is one of the five pillars of Islam. Completing the five daily prayers in the way taught by Prophet Muhammad is an obligation for all adult Muslims, those who have reached puberty, and should be strictly required of children aged 10 and over. It is believed that communication with Allah is critical to strengthening the faith of the believer. Muslims believe that Allah speaks to us through the Quran, and Salah is our means of responding to Allah. Whether you're just curious as to how Muslims pray, or if you're looking to learn for yourself, it's never too early to start. The obligation to pray for every Muslim who has reached the age of puberty has been established in the Quran and the Hadith of Prophet Muhammad. And establish prayer and give alms and bow down with those who bow down. Quran Surah Al-Baqarah verse 43 Offer prayers. Indeed, they prevent abominable and forbidden deeds. Quran Surah al ankabut verse 45. Amazing. I really learned a lot, guys. As a non-Muslim, I learned a lot from this particular video. You know, some people felt interested. Some people felt not interested. You know, some are just there to why wait time. Some are there to really learn. They are there to really, really learn. So... This lecturer just wanted them to know. I'm sure it will be a religious um, um, course. So they will teach you some important things like Islam, Christianity, Judaism. So that particular lecture was meant for Islamic, you know, lecture. It was time for them to learn about Islam. Even the lecturer, I thought the lecturer knows how to pray as a Muslim. I was expecting him to demonstrate on how to pray as a Muslim. I didn't expect him to call. Yes, you, you can call the student out. But at the same time, he's supposed to demonstrate it because I'm sure the lecturer is not a Muslim. Because the other lecturer, I don't know if that other man is a lecturer, he was the one explaining to us how it is done in Islam, how they pray in Islam, and, you know, the, uh, and the five times prayer, how it is being held, you know, what to do, you know. It was really beautiful. And I love the fact that he called some student out to demonstrate to other students on how to pray in Muslim, like in Islam, yes, yes. How to pray like a Muslim. And the Jewish man and the uh, Christian man, they really tried. They really did try. The only part that they missed was when the uh, Muslim man, uh, you know, was, uh, I don't know, how, to, how would I put it? That part where he was moving his neck left and right, they didn't actually get that part well. 
but they really did well absolutely well so like the lecturer said we are all serving the same god be it jewish be it islam but that was a beautiful one beautiful one. very peaceful no chaos everybody you know paid attention and they learned from it because me too as a non-muslim i learned a lot from it especially from the le other lecturer while he was explaining the five time prayer how it has been held and that was so beautiful 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 to watch guys i don't know about you but i really enjoyed this video thank you so so much for watching don't forget to smile and subscribe button for more like share and comment i'll see you in the next one bye